bow, they've puzzled stargazers for centuries, but gradually astronomers are learning more about mysterious black holes. Black holes are collapsed to giant stars where the gravity is so strong even light doesn't get out. Now an international team of scientists has captured the first real image of a black hole, said to be three million times the size of Earth. The photo is of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole that's at the centre of our Milky Way galaxy. Well, for more on this amazing story, I'm joined by our space science and technology correspondent, Jeremy Wilkes. Uh, Jeremy, good to see you there. Just how big a breakthrough is this for the world of astrophysics? It really is a massive, massive moment for people in astrophysics. I mean, I got a sense of that while talking to some of them uh, uh, under this strict embargo uh, concer concerning the release of the image today. Uh, in the last few days, I've been speaking to some of them, and you see the emotion in their eyes. They're incredibly excited about this. This kind of a before and after in their careers. Uh, just think about this. They've taken an image of the um, supermassive black hole in the galaxy M87, 55 million light years away from Earth. Um, it is an object they knew was there, but they weren't able to see. And using this uh, Event Horizon Telescope, they've managed to actually create this image, a real image of a supermassive black hole. Um, I think in order to get a, a sense for what it means to them, what they can do with it, let's have a little listen to Heino Falke, who is one of the key scientists involved in this research, uh, a German working for a Dutch university and uh, backed by the European Research Council. Let's have a little listen to him. Holes are one of the most extreme predictions of the theory of general relativity. And this is something we can now test in detail and in the future. And this is so important because the two most fundamental theories of our universe, quantum physics, which describes the small things, and relativity, which describes the big universe and the big scales, they don't go together at the event horizon. And something has to happen there. Well, whether we were able to see what goes wrong, I don't know. But maybe eventually at some point we'll find out how to bring these two theories together. Jeremy, quite amazing comments there. But, you know, a lot of people will only be familiar with images like we've seen here on shows like Star Trek. Just how did the scientists manage to capture this? Yeah, I've been mean, talking to Heino Falker about it. He just kept saying, look, this is a real picture of a real black hole. How they did it was using a technique called very long baseline interferometry, where you basically use the entire planet as a telescope. So they had eight radio telescopes working together, um, ranging from telescopes in Antarctica to Mexico to Spain, all of them taking data in April 2017 on this supermassive black hole. And terabytes of data each one of those telescopes were taking every day and then putting them onto, onto drives and then putting them all together into a supercomputer, calculating them all together. Hundreds of scientists all around the planet working on this all together and then coming out with this image. And when you think about, well, what are they going to do next? I think that for the next couple of days, they're just going to be staring at this image and saying, yeah, it is rather like how Albert Einstein predicted 100 years ago. It is a real image of a supermassive black hole, and what an incredible achievement for science. And now they're just going to go out there and try and hunt some more and get some more of these amazing images. No doubt they'll be ending up on T-shirts around the world that we can all buy. Jeremy Wilkes there with that amazing discovery. Thank you.